Phoenix for Go Calgary, and this book is says it all: ten ways to stay broke forever. This is Laura. This is Susan. Okay. You two know each other. We do. <laughs> We're business partners. Um, we have a digital property, goldengirlfinance.com. Um, we write for Yahoo, Chatelaine, and we're the authors of this book, and It's Your Money, Honey, a book that was released last year. So here it is. The two of you, Susan, you have kids. Yeah. You said, let's come up with an idea to, what, share this information, this knowledge with our kids? Definitely. We wanted to empower our kids and have them think big about growing and building their wealth, and we also wanted to share that knowledge with everybody. The, the title is somewhat tongue-in-cheek, Laura. I guess it's a testament to your character. <laughs> yeah, well, we actually did an article on this, and it did amazingly well um, on Yahoo. So we thought, well, let, our publisher said, let's do a book around this. And we couldn't agree more. The book is funny, and it, you know, it makes a little bit of fun of all those things we do, consumer spending, but then drills home what you need to do to change that and build wealth for yourself. Of course, none of us want to be broke forever, though, no. Susan. So give us, some, uh, give us some quick tips. Well, one of the golden rules that we talk about is buying a new car. It's one of the big issues that we're seeing in car debt in Canada. And how ironic we're at a repo center. <laughs> I know. You don't want your car coming here. Yes. Um, average Canadians right now are financing 95% of their car purchase, and they're financing it over longer and longer periods of time. Right. So our golden rule for financing is really if you can't afford the financing over three years, the monthly payment, then you cannot afford the car. See, now that makes sense. I mean, it seems to make sense. As I've read through this book as well, too, there's, there's some obvious things here. Give us some other obvious things. Other obvious things, um, we often just go for convenience with everything that we purchased. Like a um, cup of coffee. Yeah, you know, it's not about cutting out all those little things we yeah. love, but we go for convenience. We go to the places closest. We don't look for, for discounts. And, you know, in the end, if you are getting into debt, that is important. We also tend to, we finance everything. We may, If we can afford the monthly payment, we think we can afford the item. Not the case at all, whether right. that's a mortgage or a car, um, you know, or other large ticket items. It's, it's awareness. Yes, ladies? Yeah. It's awareness awareness about, about your spending habits and saying to yourself, yeah. well, wait a minute, stop, think about it. Yes. It's a great read, yes? It's awesome. Absolutely. It's fun. It'll get you engaged. Yep. And we just want to start making you aware of all of those little things you may be doing and focusing on value. Again, the title is called 10 Ways to Stay Broke Forever. Laura, Susan, thank you very much. Thanks. Hey, let's go buy a car. <laughs> oh, maybe. We'll think about it. Uh, more of Go Calgary coming up from the Repo Center here on Shaw TV.